just going to knock out a quick video while I'm cooking the kids dinner on a barbecue. I uh, just wanted to show you something that I made today. It's a water energizer, water restructurer, uh, that kind of thing. It all sounds a bit techy and wacko, uh, and it well could be. Uh, water, you know, is one of the most studied things on the planet, but no one really seems to know much about it, really. It all comes up pretty simple. Uh, Yet at the end of the day, there's a few people like uh, Nicole Tesla was for electricity. Uh, there's Victor Schoschenberger, who uh, understood water, water uh, like no one else ever has. Uh, he was uh, pretty amazing. I'll put it on the video, what his name, how you actually spell it, so you can look it up on places like YouTube and whatnot. But uh, he was basically a forester um, from you know four centuries of his family foresting in um, Austria and uh, he basically was a naturalist so he lived in forests that basically were untouched by you know humans and he studied water more than anything he's come out with some crazy inventions uh, he was even employed by the nazis in uh, world war ii to make ufos and things which he did uh, he made some crazy stuff ufos and all sorts of stuff that actually worked so you can look all that up as well his basic theory was that nature doesn't flow straight and 90 degree bends like a typical aquaponics out like this one it's all straight 90 degree bends and you're basically de-energizing the water every time it goes circulating around you're taking the energy away from it it's not its natural path it's just not what it's supposed to do so i'm just going to show you something really simple that you can make this baby here has a 40 mil inlet coming in and it'll go up on my inlet pipe over there so that's a 40 mil pipe so basically this sucker connects to that and it'll sit down at a 45 degree angle into the tank and what's special about it is not that much to look at but what it does is energize water so I can show you the guts of it through there it's basically marbles so within this tube there is lots of marbles all the way up so it's 40 mil with a reducer up to 50 50 mil pipe just so it can handle the water volume and back out to back of a, a kaoling, so stainless steel mesh so it can get out um, one side I've kind of botched it up with a bit of uh, fish so silicon uh, just so uh, the water goes in the direction I want it to now I'll see if between my legs I can pull this top off there you go now if you look in there really hard to see them there they are it's a lot of marbles and in the bottom are some really big ones. You can see quite big ones there. And the smaller ones up the top. Look, the, the basic theory behind it, like if you go and have a look at some of Victor's stuff, it's all about vortexes, eddies, and basically how a creek would never run in a straight line and just, you know, the water doesn't do that. You've got rocks everywhere and water bounces off through them. So you imagine the water running through those marbles. It creates vortexes within the pipe, lots of them. And little eddies like like you'd see in a stream where the side of the stream whirlpools around in circles now, every time that does that in nature it's energizing the water which is basically positively charging it like ionizing and charging each molecule i think water has some of the smallest molecules you can find and the more charge you put into them the healthier it is so i know this kind of sounds pretty wacky but this is a really basic kind of filter it doesn't filter the water as such it re-energizes the water so pretty simple stuff 10 bucks a pipe a couple of you know like a cowling for an end cap that i use for this one with some holes in the bottom you wouldn't have to do that you could you know this is mark one this is probably won't last more than two weeks before i'll have to pull it all apart and, and do it properly but as a mark one the marbles in there basically create vortexes of water so it turns into little whirlpools that spin around and water will find you know the least resistance so it'll go around the edges between them all and when it's doing that it's replicating a natural stream with rocks and you know and you look at a natural stream no rocks are sharp edged and things like that like water creates everything it basically rounds it out it's almost making it how it wants to you know create the stones and everything around it it's it's kind of a bit of the least resistance as well as uh, basic nature you know instead of complex science from the guys in white suits so this is a really, really simple way to energize your water. Um, you know, and as I've shown you, I'll put it in this fish tank. Um, the water comes in on my 40 mil inlet, comes in a you know, fair amount, four and a half thousand liters an hour. 
uh, and it'll go down through, energize itself as it whirlpools and eddies all around all the marbles in there. You know, marbles are pretty food, so they're glass. Uh, and then it'll shoot it into the into where the fish are. So uh, it's, it's re-energizing the water, not so much cleaning it. And it's uh, putting the water back to a, a livable energy instead of just spinning it around through straight pipes and that kind of thing. So I'll uh, put a bit more information on the video so you can read about, you know, interesting things to research and uh, have a look for yourself and, you know, you tell me whether I'm a wacko. But uh, for the 10 bucks I spent, three bucks on some marbles, uh, you know, it can't hurt. It can only improve the system uh, positively charging the water, which is the main point of aquaponics. It's all about the water. That's what you're dealing with. So fresh, clean water like this one, this is three and a half thousand litres. I don't know if you can really see because I can't even see the viewfinder, but you know, this is dirt clear. It's, I can see the bottom, there's nothing in there and the fish are as happy as, so you know, it's, uh, it's all about your water. So yeah, I'll um, hook her up and also show you it hooked up. Oh, I'm just doing the pack on video, you probably can't hear me speaking if I'm too close to that noisy thing, but that's the water stabiliser, energiser, structuralizer. Basically just marbles in a tube and that's the water coming out. It's all coming out like a vortex. The water's spinning and spiralling as it comes out. It's uh, heavily aerating the tank when it hits the bottom. And um, you know, for such a simple, simple concept, and these things you can you can buy them to put in your house, filters like like act like kind of like a filter energizer, and they're hundreds of dollars. All they are is an oversized bit of PVC, bigger than the outlet, so it gets the flow through, and marbles, and it just creates massive amounts of vortexes and eddies inside that pipe, which is energizing that water. And it's um, you know the water kind of looks different when it comes out. It's if I pull that off and just have it not how it would come in normally, it's not as aerating. It's not as um, kind of misty almost, it almost creates like a mist uh, due to the water spinning, so it all comes out spinning in all different directions, so good old Victor Schneisenberger or whatever it is, Sassenberger or whatever um, you know, he's really worth having a look online, because some of these devices might seem a bit like how's your father, but at the end of the day uh, the guy who came up with theories like this is a genius, and he'll prove he's, you know, worth for hundreds more years from now, and no one's even understood his invention, so this is about the most simple thing he ever came up with compared to some of it. It's, you know, really worth a look at. He's an interesting guy and uh, it was all about nature, no straight lines, you know, that kind of thing. And um, his theories on energy is in basically you get free energy out of water and uh, also ways to recharge it and energise it. So, well worth a look up. So that's the, that's the quick look at uh, the stabiliser, energiser, Structural eyes are working.